Hello and welcome back to another video. We are going to be planning our August bullet journal spreads today. But firstly, let's have a quick recap on July's spreads and what was good and bad and what I will be taking forward into August. So for July, we had this really nice um, sunflower spread as our sunflowers were coming out in the garden. I thought this was a perfect thing in an inking with a slight watercolour background. And I really like the simplicity of this. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I really enjoyed this self-care kind of page. However, I'm not I'm not going to lie, I didn't really go back to it and have a look at it. So I'm not sure I'm going to carry that forward, but I did like it for this month. Then we had the morning routine, which I really enjoyed and I'm definitely going to carry it forward. We're picking up our puppy um, and it will be very much needed in terms of our routine of getting her breakfast and wheeze in and training in whilst we have her. Then we have the generic spreads, which always work really well. I'm constantly writing things in, tell it, saying whether I've done or not done them or half done them. And it's always really good for, to help me plan. And then the final page was just I only had Monday to do so I did this big sunflower which I really like I really like having a bit of artwork but it was a very simple month did add in the extra things of the morning routine and the self-care pages but again I think I'm going to carry forward the morning routine and perhaps do a little spread dedicated to the new pub but we will see I'm not sure what we're going to do so I'm going to have a think and then we will get on with the August spreads gonna cry when you're gone Gonna 
Heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. So, as you saw, this video is a little bit delayed, so we are already into August as you're seeing this, um, and that is just because we actually received our pup, and we have been, you know, trying to get her settled in, and it's been quite an adjustment. We took a few days off, we've still got a couple more days off, thankfully, um, but she is, of course, missing her brothers and sisters and her mum, um, and the owners, um, and she's just you know taking a bit of time to adjust at night time and so we're not getting much sleep at the moment but training is going really well her potty training is going really well she's only had a few accidents inside um but for the most part she's going outside and um doing her number ones and twos very well um but she's doing really really well she's just getting used to things and it is just a little bit tiring i'm sure many of you who have had puppies before know um but we have her on a good schedule now and hopefully she will start to settle down and adjust to her new lifestyle. But it's all been fun and that is the reason that this video is a bit late. So I will run through what I've done. Um, you saw that I created my own little lino stamps of some paw prints um, and then use those throughout the spreads just to add that little bit of extra um embellishment to the pages we just went for a very simple august with a spaniel looking up at the august text which i thought was quite nice and simple i probably could have added a few more things on here but um with how tired i am <laughs> i uh i didn't think i would push it and then onto here we have a page dedicated to our lovely mabel here so this is her the day after we got her so she is looking a bit more sprightly and less scared um, and then again added another inking and this is another daily schedule i really enjoyed the one that i did last month so i've added a new one in and now we have mabel this is obviously going to change we are i'm actually should have done this a bit earlier because we're waking up about a billion times during the night and then the earliest morning start is about six 
uh, half, five, six. So I probably should have shifted that up a bit. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, but that is those spreads. I really like the ink work. I used the De La Roni FW ink. Um, it's an acrylic ink in red earth colour. It just worked as the best colour for the fur kind of colours. I did get um, a few other colours like sepia, black and white out. Um, but that just seemed like the best colour and it didn't need any other, other colours. So that's perfect. Then we have the weeklies here and it's again you know a bit of a broken record we've kind of gone through this same design of just monday to sunday with a notes section and that's just how it is and again i use the embellishment of the paw print stamps just to add the color and tie it in with the theme a little bit more i did leave the um pencil marks there just to just to denote where the start and stop and nothing nothing very fancy with the text there with the font i just did it in capital letters so nothing crazy um and another full spread of those and then we moved on to the last two pages because it was Monday to Thursday till the 31st. So I did a little puppy here, just playing. And then the last final page, I did a brain dump so that we could do some to-do list stuff for the upcoming mushroom launch and further launches after that during this month. Um, and that's the end of, of August. I hope you've enjoyed this theme. I really, I think it's perfect considering we've just received our puppy. And I really like that we've gone from, you know, bright and colourful um last month and the month before to and the month before that we've you know we've had a, a very load of colorful months and i think this is a perfect one to kind of tone it back in um before we have the nice autumn autumnal colors when we go into september the end of september etc so i think it's a really nice spread and it's a perfect way to welcome our little mabel um and i will include another little video clip at the end of this video so you can see how she's getting on um and no doubt you'll see her in the vlog um as she has definitely stopped me from vlogging a few things but i have a few exciting parcels in there so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of puppy um slash more business things behind the scenes and thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>